He was known as Louis Prado, or the Count Lynx, Lynxga de Castillon, a French nobleman and supposed son of the South American president, neither of which was likely to be true. He was articulate and superficially charming, and as such developed a reputation as that of a ladies' man. In the end, though, he became remembered for what he really was, a thief and a murderer. Although mostly forgotten today, Prado's trial was a bit of a cause of celebration or celebrity in his day that attracted a lot of attention. At first, he seemed content simply to seduce women, marry them, and then live off their wealth. He supplemented his income with a secondary career as a robber. However, on January 15, 1886, Prado attacked a woman named Marie Agitain in her apartment in Paris. He cut her throat with a razor so deep that her head was almost severed from her body. Mrs. Agitain was known as the uh, a la femme aux diamants due to all the jewelry that she wore, and her husband was a croupier who never came home before 2 a.m. Therefore, she made a perfect target for Prado. He almost got away with it, too. Two years later, Prado was arrested for shooting a police officer during a failed robbery. Following an investigation, his two mistresses were also arrested for the possession of stolen jewelry that he had given him. One of them was Eugenie uh, Forestier. She testified against him. She claimed that on the night of the murder, Prado visited her and asked her to get rid of the blood-stained clothes and the razor that he had. Prado was found guilty and executed by guillotine December 28th of 1888. 